Well, hello, my friends. Yes, it is I, Gable the Rock Nelson, introducing my new DVD for this year. There you see the time on deck. It is December 22nd, 2013, three days before Christmas, and three days before my grandma's, uh, well, I think, 119th birthday, something like that. She would she would be 120, something like that. She was born December 25th, 1887. So that would be, uh, hmm, 1887, 6, 100 and something like that. Wait. Cut, wait, 126th big birthday. And it would be my dad's big 96th birthday on the 30th. You know, but he, he died in age 95 last uh, July 1st. But anyway, I want to say, anyway, I'm going to introduce my new DVD for this year. Uh, uh, if I got a cut for a second. Come on, Rock, shut up and show us the movie. Go, 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 go. Nah, it's good job, all right. Okay, show us the movie, Rock. Come on, flex those muscles. Now, I was going to say, that, that, see, Glenn Strange, my favorite Frankenstein. And I want to tell you people, I still got it. Look at, oh, I'm 57 and I'm huge. I just turned 57 November 27th on Bruce Lee's birthday and Jimi Hendrix's birthday. November 20th. All of us were born November 27th. Oh, I'm huge. I'm huge. Look at that. And see, I had prostate cancer. I didn't tell you people that. I forgot to mention that on stage last year at Rock Talk. I had to get laparoscopic robotic surgery to remove my prostate to get rid of the prostate cancer, because it, it was all in there. You know, my, my Gleason score was something like seven, or I don't know, something like that. But, I, you know, I could make a mind, either radiation or surgery, and I decided surgery was the best option. You know, because I just wanted to get rid of it. I talked to Ron over at Monster Bash. He said if it was him, he would just get the surgery. and Trust the professionals. Get, just get rid of it. Because you don't want to end up by some of our friends that passed away from cancer. The way laparoscopic robotic surgery, fortunately, it was covered by the VA, the veteran, because I'm a veteran. I was in the Marines from 76 to 80. I served my time in the Marine Corps, so I get the veterans' benefits. So, you know, they got rid of it, and I didn't have to pay a cent, man. They paid for the whole thing because I'm a... Now, I'm with the show, but God bless uh, the VA. Thank God they took care of me, and they saved me, and I'm healed, and I'll be in Monster Rise 2014, and I'm gaining weight again. I've already bulked up over 165. I was up to almost 168 recently. Natural, by working out good and eating good. I work out, like, three times a week for, like, maybe 15, 20 minutes. I push-ups and pull-ups and curls and, you know, I do different exercises different days. I work my legs another day, squat, knee bends and toe raises, and I do a lot of walking. You know, so, you know, I stay active, I keep in good shape, I build my muscles, you can see. I'm going to show you my muscles in a minute. That's how I look, just a couple, like, earlier, like, last week. So, okay, I'm going to show, and I'm going to shut up. Yeah, yeah now, now I'm the, now, I'm going to, uh, get on with the show. Okay, we'll see you. It's happy, spooky, fun, new, grew year, and happy, spooky, fun, merry monster holidays from all of us here at Rock Nelson Monster Movies Unincorporated. ha, <laughs> ha. Okay, I'll see you. Now, here we go. Bound with a show. Flex those muscles, Rock. Yeah. This is me about a week ago. But no more talking. I, I just want to tell you, I got healed, brother. August 20th, they cut it out with laparoscopic robotic surgery at my VA hospital. Look, you can see the scars right there. So you can see a scar down there. See, there's a scar. Okay, I'm putting my shirt back on. First, I gotta show you my muscles. Look, see, I'm huge. I'm huge. Look at that. Ugh. Ugh. Are you jealous of my body? Ugh. Look, at that. I'm huge. I'm huge. Look at that. It's all natural, man, because I eat good and I work out hard. I do my push-ups. Lats. Back. That was a box of gold gloves, three decades, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Bum, bum, bum. Smoking Joe Frazier, left hook. <laughs> yeah, he jolts on my body. Okay, I gotta put my shirt back on. Put my shirt back on. Okay. My big Frankenstein Monster Bass shirt on. And put my jacket back on. And now it's time to sit back with your pop, your popcorn, your pop. Not your flying saws here. Uh, yeah, your pop, yeah, your flying sauce too, because this is the Mont Rock Rocks, the big, big monster bash goes.
Yeah, this is the Rock Rocks the Monster Bash. Go Mars. I'm gonna get you with my space gun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I said, I'm all natural. I never took a steroid. I use protein powder like whey powder after workout. A scoop of that. It's got like a 30 grams of protein extra. You mix it in milk. But that's not steroids. That's a food supplement. You can get that in Walmart and Target. You can get it at Jewel. You can get it anywhere. Walgreens. See, uh, you know, Myers Drugstore where I get it cheaper like, or Walmart. So, you know, it's a good deal. After a workout, it's good. It's a good protein. Or in the morning, you get a quick dose of protein, put a scoop of that in a glass of milk, and shake it up in an empty jar, like an empty peanut butter jar. That's what I do. I save my peanut butter jars when I'm done with them. I eat a lot of peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. It's a good snack with a glass of milk. And, you know, and, and I eat good. I get my meat. I get my veggies. I get my carbs, you know, like potatoes or rice or pasta. Or I have some Chinese sometimes with rice with, the, you know, the Chinese food. And, and it's really good. You get your protein, you get your veggies, because Chinese food's got veggies in here, too. And uh, you got your carbs from the, from the rice. And I, I eat good. You know, I drink my milk. You know, I drink like two glasses a day at least every day, a uh, bowl of cereal, and I have a protein drink after workout. And, you know, and I eat good. I, you know, I have in the morning, I have a couple eggs and toast. And if you keep working out hard and hard through many years, that's what you look like. That's why I look like that, man. I was a skinny guy. I didn't have any muscles, but I used to keep working out, working out. And I determined I was going to gain weight. I said to eat more and to snack between meals. Like, we have a protein drink, or I might go go to Burger King between meals and have myself a Whopper and a chocolate shake or a strawberry shake after, after school to squeeze in another meal, you know, after my workout. And then at night around 6, 37, I'd have dinner with my family, my family, you know. My mom, my mom would cook like, you know, lamb or, you know, hamburger patties or ground beef, whatever, with vegetables and potato, you know. And my mom fed me good. Two scrambled eggs in the morning with toast every morning, you know, or cereal. So, you know, I'll see you. And I'm with a show. I'm all natural. I never took a steroid. You build muscles naturally by working out hard and eating good. And it takes time. But that's real muscle. That's not fake because you're injecting some steroid, man. That's cheating. And that's bad for your body in the long run. And there was a guy at the VA that had prostate problems now because he was on steroids. He says, I think the steroids messed up, messed up my prostate. Now, a lot of people don't know what that is, but that's something... The guys that get over 50, sometimes they can have a problem with it when they get older. You know, some people don't get it all their life. Some guys never get to have a problem with it. Some guys, it happens when they're in their 70s or 80s. Uh, you can read up about it or ask your health teacher about it at school. Hey, I'll see ya. Or, okay, now we're going to have fun. Let's forget about what we're talking about. Have some fun and watch The Rock Rocks Monster Bash go. Here we go. Enjoy the show. Spooky fun. New Grew Year. And happy spooky fun new Gru year and, and merry monster holidays from all of us here at David Rock Nelson Monster Movies. And, and feed me on Facebook and become my fiend. Search for David Rock Nelson. Feed me on Facebook, David Rock Nelson, and become my fiend. Okay, I'll see you. And I'm on YouTube. See previews of my movies on YouTube. It's David Rock Nelson. Feed me on Facebook and on YouTube. And I'm going to uh, sit down and have... Be like me and sit down with your pizza. Are you jealous of my food? Are you jealous? Hey, you wish you were here having this pizza and your nice hot job. I got in my WGN cup because I'm on there every year and how news. I'm sitting here with my fiends, the skeleton and the Frankenstein head. And all my fiends, right? See, look at they got my other fiends up there, the witch and the Ben Cooper Frankenstein man. And over there. Okay, that's the trip door I used in my Monster Tales DVD. It shot on video, released on video in 2002, and released on DVD in 2007. That's the trip door I walked through as Tor Johnson in my second tale, Tor Terrorizes, uh, my trilogy, Monster Tales Anthology Trilogy DVD video. And there's, a, there's the Shock Monster Mask made by Upchuck. Chuck Jarman of Bumpin' the Night Productions, he gave me that in 2007 when he was at my house with his fiend, Jace Whitman, uh, when they were doing the rockument or the documentary called, right here, David the Rock Nelson, the Edward of the 21st Century DVD by November Fire, and it's on a double bill with Werewolf and the Witch. There you see Werewolf and the Witch right there. It's me, I'm the werewolf, and Janet plays the witch. Ooh, ooh, pretty spooky, huh? It's, that's the sequel to my 
1993 shot on video classic, Conrad Brooks versus the Werewolf. And over here behind me, I want you to see something. Zoom in right there. And that is, that's the Frankenstein uh, giant mask that Eric Bresler of Cinadelphia Film Fest at the Mausoleum of Contemporary Art in Philly, Pennsylvania. He sent me that after I uh, finished the movie Bigfoot Runs Amok. And I sent him the copy because he's in it. I filmed it over there when I was down there at, in 2016 when they showed my uh, the world's premiere of my 2000 hit hoot, Frankenstein Stalks, on a big screen, like two hours and 23 minutes. The audience loved it. There was an audience of about 30 people there. It was great. Small crowd, but big fans of mine. I sold like, I sold like 16 DVDs, and it took me like a half hour. I take that back. I think I sold well, I'm like 20 of them, whatever. I made like 360 bucks in like a half hour. Ross Schneider from, uh, Ross Schneider, a big fan of mine, he bought like six of my movies. Another guy bought three of them. Trevor Bather was there. He drove all the way from Delaware, Wilmington, Delaware, I think, and he bought like three of my movies. Uh, yeah, so that, that, yeah, sold all the DVDs I had. And so that painting right there, that's, that is a painting of me as Frankenrock. That's Frankenrock. And that's the werewolf mask I wore in Werewolf and the Witch. And there's the Rondo Hatton sculpture made for me by uh, John Whistler of, near uh, Hollywood, California. He made that Rondo Hatton sculpture. That's not a Rondo Award. I did win the Rondo Award last year in 2020, but that's that's a Rondo Hatton sculpture done by uh, John Whistler of California. By the way, that Frankenrock painting, that's by Bradford De La Brooke, a big fan of mine out there in Middletown, Pennsylvania, and he just made that just because he's a fan of mine. Look at that. That's me. That's yours truly. I got a face only a mother could love. <laughs> rah, rah, the eyes of the rock. The all-seeing eyes of the rock will get you. Yeah, Frankenrock. I'm getting revitalized there. The Balagosi poster I got. But I want to say that I won from John, up uh, uh, Monster John from Chicago when I was at a film fest at the uh, Filament Theater across from Portage Theater here in Chicago on North Milwaukee Avenue near uh, Irving Park Road. They, I won that because he had a question. He said, he said at a film fest in the Filament Theater, which is, they don't have that now, but it's right across the street from the Portage. But he says, he asked a question. What movie inspired Alien? And I raised my hand right away. I said, It the Terror from Beyond Space. He says, Right, so I won that poster. I wanted to win the Glenn Strange Frankenstein poster, but somebody else already won that one. Okay, so there's my dungeon. You see, there's a cutout of Alvira there, you know, and there's the skeleton wearing a Svengoolie t shirt. Svengoolie, my favorite horror host. I love all horror hosts, but Svengoolie's my favorite. And I love Elvira. I met Elvira twice, and I met Svengoolie 20 times so far since 1989. He's in a lot of my movies. Okay, now cut that's perfect. I'm gonna cut here. I don't like my beard just because I'm playing a werewolf in my movies, see? And, I, and Mr. Hyde. And see, I haven't got my uh, chemicals up here. I got See, I made the anti-Hyde formula right there. And I played the Gorilla Man in a sequel, uh, Gorilla... Uh, Teenage, uh, gorilla Monster 2, which is a sequel to my I Was a Teenage Gorilla, which I haven't finished yet. And see, I got my anti-ape formula, or anti-gorilla formula. It's like an empty peanut jar, and I made a label. It's, uh, turn me back to human, so I become a human. Here's the thing on top here, I got a human. See, this is a plastic container I found on my way home. It, like a fruit container, and I saw it laying there. So I took it home, washed it out, and used it to put my fake brain in. Monster brain, see, and I drew that picture of Frankenstein, see, it's monster brain. On the other side it says, human brain. You are a human, I am a Roman. I will rid this earth planet of humans, you know, and then over here, see, that's the, a fake brain. It's a bunch of uh, grocery bags and a gray bag over it, and I drew a fake brain on it, sketch tape, it's like the end of the brain there, where the spinal cord is. See, you know, I use that in my movie. Miss Frankenstein coming soon in my other movies. Okay, now on with the show. See, I look like World of Sea. And I put the fake fangs in. I got the fake fangs over here, you know, that I used in my Vampire Woman uh, commercial, you know, for the fangs. And so I, I put them in and go, Look at my beard. Look at that. Look at that hair, man. Look at that. That's my longest I've ever had my beard. I'm going to shave it off when I'm done doing the scenes. Like, rah, 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 rah. 
You can't. I can align with the show. And if you don't enjoy this movie, I, the rock monster, will get you. Arr! And my devil ain't gonna get you. And my giant horny toad monster's gonna get you. Arr! And my devil ain't gonna get you. Where are my devil ants at? I threw them. Oh, they're all on the floor here. Here they are. Yeah. There's that. My devil ain't gonna get you. Arr! And the one that attacked Roger Corman's gonna. And the one that attacked Roger Corman's gonna get you. Run, Devil Lamp 2.